Hello everybody, today we are talking about adding and subtracting polynomials. Okay, so a polynomial is an expression of the form ax to the k power, where k is a non-negative integer. Okay, we don't want any negative numbers up there. The integer k is the degree of the polynomial. The degree is always the largest power of x in the polynomial. The term ax has a degree of 1 because the biggest power in that would be x to the first power, and so it's degree 1, while a polynomial that is uh, just that just has a constant is a degree of 0. Okay, so a number a is called the coefficient, so any number out here in front of an x or an x squared or an x cubed or anything like that is a, is a coefficient. When k is the largest power in the polynomial, then um, a times x to the k or if that's my polynomial, then A is called the leading coefficient. Okay, so all a bunch of terms that you need to know. So let's look right here. Identify the leading coefficient of the polynomial negative 4x squared plus x cubed plus 3. All right, one thing that I like to do is I like to write my uh, polynomials in standard form. So I have the biggest power first. So I could rearrange this like this. And then when I, if I do that, then my leading coefficient is always the first coefficient. Now, if, uh, if I just got x cubed here, a lot of people seem to think that the leading coefficient is 0. That's not true. If it was 0, then this wouldn't be here at all. Uh, the leading coefficient here is 1. So a is 1. So that's my leading coefficient. Okay. Now. This polynomial is degree 3 because that's the biggest power. Okay, now it doesn't matter what order it comes in. A lot of people will look at this and they'll go, oh, uh, the degree is 2 and the leading coefficient is negative 4. Well, no, it isn't. Okay, because both of those go with the biggest power. So it doesn't matter what order it's written in. Okay, the biggest power, that's the leading coefficient, the number in front of the x cubed, that's the degree of the polynomial. Now, the degree is going to tell us a whole lot of things a little bit later in math, um, and it's very easy to find, okay? All right, so here I got a bunch of polynomials. Um, this first one is so simple that it's hard for some people. So the polynomial is just 6. It's just a constant. It has a degree of 0, Okay, because this is 6 times x to the 0 power. Remember, x to the 0 power is 1, and 1 times 6 would be 6. Um, if it's classified uh, by degree, um, let's see, classified by terms. Well, this is a monomial. Okay, so a monomial means that it just has one term right here. Um, and if it's classified by degree, this is linear. Okay, if I just have a constant, a constant is always a horizontal line. So if I was going to graph this thing, um, I would just go up 6 on the y-axis and draw a horizontal line there, and that would be the line. Okay, now this one here, B, um, it's a polynomial, negative 2x. It has a degree of 1 because the biggest power of x is 1. It's also linear. Okay, so it's just a, a, a line that's got a slope of negative 2, so it's pretty steep laying down this way. It's also a monomial because it only has one term. Uh, you know what, let's make these a different color. How about a nice orange? Okay. And then I've got this one here. Um, this is a, a degree 1 because the biggest power is, is x to the first power. It's also linear. Okay, it's got a slope of 3 and a y-intercept of 1. It's not a monomial, though. It's a binomial because it has two terms. Okay, we're getting more complicated here. So this one is a parabola. It's degree 2. 
It is not linear. It's a quadratic. Okay, and it is a trinomial because it has three terms. Okay, now let's look at the next one here. Um, all right, this one is a degree three because the biggest power is three. Um, it is a uh, uh, it's a cubic cubic equation because it's got power of three, um, but it's also a binomial because there are two terms. Okay, last one here. Uh, this thing is degree four, because the biggest power is four. It's a, um, let's see, this would be a, hmm, I don't even know what this is called. It's got four terms. Um, I guess it would be a quadnomial. And um, I don't, I'm not worried about the name on this one. I, the name is escaping me at the moment. So don't worry about that. You're not going to have to name it by degree here. Okay, next, how do you add these things together? So I've got two trinomials here. Um, and I want to add them together. So here's what I always recommend that you do, okay? Always do it vertically. So I'm going to take this term, I'm going to write down 2x squared plus x minus 5. And then I'm going to take the blue and I'm going to write it underneath. And I'm going to line up the powers. So I got an x squared, it's going to go into the x squared. I've got a plus x, it's going to go into the x. And I've got a plus 6, it's going to go into the constant. Now I'm just going to add these things up, okay? So that way I get my like terms together. 2x squared and x squared is 3x squared. x plus x is 2x. And negative 5 plus 6 is 1. There's my answer. I've added those two trinomials together. Very simple. Okay, find the sum of this. Now i got three of them this time. Okay, so again, I'm going to line them up because I make less mistakes that way. So I've got a 5x cubed, I've got a 2x squared, I've got a minus x and a plus 7. Okay, next, I'm going to get the next one here. So i got a 3x squared, I'm going to line that up here. I've got a minus 4x, and I've got a plus 7. And then I get the orange one. Okay, I've got a negative x cubed. I'm going to line that up over here. I've got a plus 4x squared. And I don't have an x term, so I'm just going to skip that, and I'm going to put my minus 8 right here. Okay, now I can line these things all up and add them together. So 5x cubed minus an x cubed would be 4x cubed. 2x squared and 3x squared is 5x squared, plus another 4x squared is 9x squared. Uh, negative x and negative 4x would make negative 5x. And this would be 14 minus 8 would be plus 6. There is the sum of those three uh, polynomials. Okay. Now, here's where you got to be really careful. Adding, usually nobody has much trouble. Subtracting, people have some trouble. Okay. So, one of the ways that you can do this is you can take the 2x squared minus x minus 4 like this and subtract this one. And I always like to put them in parentheses. You should put them in parentheses. You just should because you're subtracting this whole thing. You're not just, if you just put a minus sign here, you're just really subtracting this. So, I want to subtract the whole thing. Now, people screw this up all the time. They make mistakes because they try, they just simply um, subtract the first one and then they forget to subtract the rest. So here's what I recommend that you do. 
Okay, let's, um, let's get a nice bright color here. I'm going to change this to a plus, and I'm going to distribute this minus sign in here. I'm going to make this negative. I'm going to make this positive. I'm going to make this negative. Okay. And basically what I've done is I've subtracted this thing. Then. So I'm going to take this first term. I always like to work vertically. So I'm going to write it out like this. And I'm going to take my new red equation with my change signs in there. I'm going to put this underneath, negative 3x squared plus 5x minus 3 like this. And then I will go ahead and uh, add those up. Okay, so I'm going to get a negative x squared plus 4x minus 7. Okay, it takes a little bit of extra time to rewrite it like this and to do this. It's more than worth it. You'll make a lot less mistakes. Okay, find the difference of this. I tell you what, I'm going to have you pause the video, give this one a stab, and then jump back on and see how you did. Okay, so the first thing you should do is you should do this. Okay, change this to a plus. I change all the signs in the one that I'm subtracting. Then I'm going to go ahead and rewrite it vertically. And I do expect you to show all your work. Okay, so now this is uh, 2x cubed. Uh, minus 3x. I'm going to skip way over here. And I get plus 4. Okie doke. Now I can add these up. Now look at this. These two cancel each other out. They go away. I'm left with 5x squared minus 4x plus 12. That's my answer. So hopefully that's what you got. Be very careful, double check when you're subtracting. Okay, you're designing a stained glass window. The border is made of red glass and is X inches wide. Um, the interior uses uh, other colors of glass. Write a polynomial expression for the amount of red glass you will use. Then use the expression to find out how much red glass will be used for a two inch border and a three inch border. So first we're just gonna write the expression, okay? So, um, the amount of the red glass. So here's the thing. It's pretty hard to see probably on here, but this is, uh, this is X, uh, right here. This is, uh, six X right here. And this is X right here. Again, I have an X right here. This is 12 X plus two. And this is X. Okay, so let's start with uh, the bottom here. Let's figure out what this is. So I want the area of the glass. Okay, so this is uh, base times height. So x plus 6x plus x is going to be 8x times x. So 8x times x. Now, the, the bot, that, that just includes this part right here. Okay, so if I take this right here and I double it, that will also include this part right here. Okay, so now I got to do the sides. So I'm going to add this. Um, so I'm going to go plus. Now I've got uh, this rectangle right here. It has a base of X, it's the same as this, and a height of X, um, 12X plus two. So this is gonna be um, X 
times 12x plus 2. And then I want to double it so that I get this part over here as well. Okay, so I'm going to take all that times 2. All right, that's how much red glass I'm going to need. Now, I just need to simplify this thing into something that's a little more pleasant to look at than this. So 2 times 8 is going to be 16. X times X is X squared. Plus 2 times X. This is going to take a couple steps. Uh, times 12X plus 2. Okay, now I want to distribute this in here. So... Um, this is going to be 16x squared uh, plus 24x squared uh, plus 4x. Okay, now I'm going to combine my like terms. I've got like terms right here. 24 and uh, 16 is 40x squared plus 4x. So that's the answer to the first question right there. Um, that's how much red glass that I need to have. Now, next I'm going to do if I need a two inch border. Okay, so a two inch border, I just put two in here. So I'm going to get 40 times two squared plus four times two. So this is four times uh, 40 would be uh, 160. And then plus 8. So I would need 168 square inches. That's with a 2 inch border. Okay, if I want a 3 inch border, so over here we'll do a 3 inch border. I'm going to use the same equation, except I'm going to put 3 in. So it's going to be 40 times 3 squared plus 4 times 3. All right, this is 9. 9 times that's going to be uh, 360 um, plus 12. So that's going to be 372 square inches. So I'm going to get a lot more... Um, red glass if I do a 3 inch border than if I do a 2 inch border. Okay, so there we are. All right, here's our assignment. Uh, it's a couple pages. Okay, total of uh, I think 20 problems here. So um, I will see you guys in class. Have a great evening.